My engine is taking a pee pee all over my floor. There's all that fluid that wouldn't come out the first time. Today we are doing first upgrade, and that is, as you can guess, oil pan. I got the block fairly clean. Clean enough, and now I'm going to pull this off. I didn't clean this. That was pointless. So, I am curious to get in there and see the crank and all the goodies underneath the oil pan, so let's dig it off. Okay, all the bolts are off. Oh, that was easy. Hold on. Still stuck on the other side. Let me see if I can set you down here. Okay, you're just balanced. You. Huh. Dirty. Look at this. What the crap is that? There's stuff in there too. There's more of that nasty sludge. Let me take off this and this, and then we'll get a better look. Okay, all the bolts are off. Let's pull this off together. Hmm. Let me grab a light. Just caked on dirty. Huh. Cross hatching on the bottom of the cylinders, but that probably doesn't matter. Because it's you want cross hatching in the good spot. I don't know. Gonna run it. Let me uh, start getting the oil pan prepped. Now I'm just kind of assembling the pan. Um, I already put on that the filler filter adapter. That was. 40 foot pounds and already came with its own Loctite kind of built onto it. So then we got to put this in here. And this has four little like quarter 20 bolts and they say just a little bit of a 
medium blue Loctite and then 8 to 10 foot-pounds on the torque wrench. So I'm going to put this on real quick. Okay, so a little windage tray baffle deal is bolted down. Now I'm going to put in these plugs in here. These are for the turbo uh, oil return feed, so I'll be using these anytime soon. So I'm going to put some uh, Teflon around those and then stick these plugs in. i got one right here and right there. And then I'll probably just hand tight this in there for now. And then we'll move on to modifying the window tray. Pan is all prepped. Plugs on each side. Now I have to trim this windage tray right about there because the new oil pickup will come up and it'll have a little bend. So I'm going to cut that out of the way. So I'm going to set up and cut it with the air death wheel. And then I'll show you when I'm done when we test fit it. Okay, I got our first cut on there. There we go. So now, well, I'm kind of proud of that dip stick. I have to get that out of the way. I got to get the pickup right here. We're going to do a dry fit, rotate the engine, and make sure everything clears and that this little bend right here clears this so let me get more set up let me get that dipstick out of the way and then I'll check it out so you can see it's hitting right on the corner of that so I need to trim a little more off that tray so it's not hitting so I'm going to take this back off and trim the corner of that tray and then it should be good to go. I'm having a lot of trouble getting this dipstick out. It feels like it's like permanently in here and it's just about ready to break which is going to cause even more trouble so I got to figure out how to get this dipstick out. This is not the dipstick tube that you use. It came with one. It uses the LS3 dipstick tube which is this right here with its new dipstick. So dipstick tube and dipstick come with the kit. So if you buy the if you buy the kit version, not just the pan, so I bought the kit. So this is kind of like what you're supposed to cut. You can see right here that I should have cut that area. Let me see, there's another thing in here. Gosh, that TV's so loud, sorry. So yeah. I don't think I have to cut the center though because I feel like there's nothing, oh. You know what, I should probably test with the pan too because I gotta make sure that there's nothing like up in this area that's gonna hit. Let me curl the corner, we'll test with the pan and then we'll try it. Okay, I still can't get my pan to sit flat up front. And there's no gap there. It's kind of bolted down there. I'm not sure what to do. I cut down this stud because I thought it was that. But it still is having issues. So, I can't tell where it's hitting. So, I guess I'm trying to get some wax on some corners on some stuff and maybe something could transfer over if it's hitting. I don't know if this is even going to work. Let me show you. Just a second. So 
So you can see how close it is. It's really close. Got a little gap right there. And I don't know what it is. Pull this off. I don't see any reason why it's not. I thought this was hitting right there, which might be that corner. I, I could try and cut that down a little bit more. Kind of out of ideas. I think I'm just going to cut that corner back some more and we'll try it again. Okay, there's a lot of grinding, but it is sitting flat, which means, and that's with no gasket. So when the gasket's on there, it'll be raised just a little bit more. So um, now I need to turn the motor over and make sure I don't hear anything binding so or hitting. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, I spun it over. No problems. Okay, so now I know it fits and that clears right there with the tube. This is how I cut it. Right there, 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 there. So now I'm going to take it off, clean it up, and I can't put it on until I get this stupid dipstick out, tube, dipstick tube out. So I got to work on that before I can even put the pan on. So uh, I'll just show you back in a little bit. All right, I took the evening off yesterday. Now we're going to finish this up. So I got the tray fitted. All I have to do now is actually bolt stuff together. So that's what we're going to do. Put the windows tray on, the pickup tube, and uh, get the pan on. I did get the dipstick tube out. It took freaking forever. I had to beat it and bend it and break it. But it finally came out, so now we're going to finish it up. Okay, it's all... Pan is bolted on. Windows tray, I mean. And the oil pickup. It now uses two bolts instead of just the one that the factory had. And everything clears nice. So I just need to clean up the gasket ceiling surface, clean up the bolts. Bolts are kind of nasty. So you clean those up, and then I can uh, put the pan on and be done. Yeah, I'd really hate to put this nice new pan on with nasty, stinky butthole bolts. So I'm letting them soak in this degreaser. Let that soak probably for a day or two because they're nasty bolts. I mean, you saw the oil pan. So I'm gonna let those soak and then I'm gonna put this pan on. Actually, I can put it on here for you now. Just a second. clean this up too. So, as soon as those bolts are clean, I'll bolt it on. This will be done. It won't look much different than what you see right now, except for the bolts will be clean. This will be clean. I just got to make sure and get the back of this even with the back of the block. So, that's going to take a little bit of time, but it's not going to be hard. But basically, that is it for the install of the Holly oil pan, which I'm excited. Motor mount should be here tomorrow or the next day. So I'll put those on as well. And I've already got some other parts on order. Got a fuel tank coming, working out my fuel system. And cross member will be here soon. So basically I'll have every single part I need to put the motor and transmission in and then start working from there. So, but I'm still gonna be collecting more parts. But this was a 
nice break. Something different than the foreigner stuff. So that's it. Cool. See you later.